Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to The Sims 4. Today we are in Strangerville. Uh, and I wanted to renovate this house, which infamously looks exactly like a base game house, which if you haven't seen the whole story behind that, I would suggest checking out Kayla's video, which I'll link on screen. Uh, she has <laughs> a really good rant about how this house looks almost identical to one that came in the Sims 4 base game. Anyway, I figured we'd change it up and do a little bit of renovation. I don't know if we'll do a budget. You know what? No, I don't think we'll do a budget. We'll just try and make it look good. I think in, in the spirit of a renovation, uh, I'm pretty bad at when I say renovate, I usually change way too much. That would just be unrealistic. Let's try and keep it pretty similar in terms of uh, like we can probably change some internal walls if we wanted to. But for example, I probably won't move the location of the bathroom or the kitchen because doing something like that in real life would be super hard and super expensive because you'd have to redo all the plumbing and, and all the electrics and all that. So we'll try and keep those pretty pretty similar to where they are. But other than that, let's have a little bit of fun. Uh, all the furniture can probably go though because it's all garbage. So let's get rid of that. <laughs> we can, let's, let's start by clearing it all out and then seeing how we go. Um, and I think probably what we're going to want to do here is, is open up this wall. Uh, fridge can go, bin can go, fire alarm can go. Uh, but we'll keep, we'll keep like this stuff just here so I know where it went. Like obviously we could rip out the cabinets, but a, something like the stove we'll probably keep in the same place. Uh, so we'll clear that out. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And bedroom can be emptied out too. Now bathroom, this is all plumbing stuff. So I think I might keep most of that where it is. So what we can actually do... I think is maybe open up the kitchen because that doesn't need to be in a separate room. So we'll do a little bit of that. Round the back, we could, if we wanted to, maybe extend the house. Uh, I think maybe even bring... I was going to say bring the kitchen out, but that probably ruin the roof line. Maybe bring this section. You know what? No, let's bring... Let's bring the kitchen out a little bit. Let's, let's bring that out here. I guess we'll rip out the stairs, sure. Why not? And then we're actually going to bring out the living room. You know what? Actually, I did that a really bad way. I should have done this and then done this because then I wouldn't have had to move everything. So we'll do that. Basically, we've just extended it by one. You know, there's a little bit of extension going on here, but not a lot. It just gives us that much more room to play with on the interior, which is always nice. Then I think to make it look fancy, we'll give it a new deck around the back uh, and make it look beautiful. We'll get rid of that barbecue. We don't need that. I'll come around here. Also, because there's no budget, I'm not going to try and keep this a starter home. Because obviously this was a starter home. At least I think it was. Um, well, it's got nothing in it now, so of course it would be. But uh, I'm pretty sure it was. But we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> we're not going to be doing that. Now, do I want to have this undercover? Or do I want... Probably, because it is going to be... We are in the desert. So you'd probably want some sort of shade going on. So maybe we go for... Uh, are we modernizing this or are we no I'm trying to well I'm trying to keep it in line with what we've got uh so what am I can, how far out can this go oh that's it Ooh, that's all okay here's what we'll do we'll bring these back these will go there so they'll sort of hold up that bit of the roof bring this balcony back but maybe we'll extend this bit still a little bit so we'll almost do the inverse of what we've got going on over there where like where the wall goes in but the balcony comes out aha look at that beautiful Maybe. I don't know. How am I roofing this area, though? Also, man, the color scheme is bad on the outside. It is bad. We're going to give it a paint job, that's for sure. I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll give it a paint job, not necessarily completely change the outside. Is this the same thing? It is. It's just white. Maybe this one might be better. Uh, I guess white is... Well, it's not white, but like this sort of grayish is better than... You know what? What if... No. What if we went blue? No, probably not a good idea. Maybe we just go here. No. <laughs> no. All right. Let, no, let's do this one because this is this is the one we'll go with. So we're just going to get rid of the yellow toning because I don't like that. It's just I'm just not a fan of it. I'm sorry. It's not going to stay. Make sure that's all changed. Uh, and then we need to. Why is the lighting different? It's the same color, but the lighting is different there. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do with this. I might need to just make that a little grey just so it matches a bit better. The lighting of the world makes it look a lot warmer than it is. You can see, I guess at sunset you get more direct light on it, but because it's so warm, the lighting, it doesn't look as white as it should. But that's okay. Um, okay, so here, I don't think we can really do a roof. That roof looks so high up though, doesn't it? Doesn't that look ridiculous? Yeah, it does look ridiculous. Let's change that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've decided I don't like it. So instead, we'll build a separate balcony roofing, which might also look dumb, but we'll find out. So this is going to be much lower pitch. Oh, you know what? This might work. Because it's kind of what they got at the front anyway. Although it's the same pitch, but this is going to be a bit different. So we're going to copy this. It's going to go here. Actually, this one might need to be different. Because we need it to join up with the rest of the roof. So we bring that in there. That bit's fine. But then, also, the walls are super tall in this house. But like I said earlier, I'm trying to keep in the spirit of renovation. Which I've been historically terrible at doing. Which included things like changing wall height and everything. But I'm not going to do that. Um, this is the worst way to roof this. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Let me actually just use a regular roof. Well, not a regular roof, but a full, full four-sided roof. Now, here's the issue with this. So if we make this lower pitched than the rest, uh, and then if we, especially if we put an eave on it, it will stick out, but we might be able to get away with this. Might bring, that doesn't need to be that far in. Nope, that's too little. A little bit further. This one we could probably, well actually we'll just leave it there for now. Copy this one, rotate it, put it there. Then it's going to have to make sure it goes all the way out. And then this one needs to go back until the peak here is blended in with the rest of the roof. Because otherwise it looks strange. That needs to go to there. Although it needs to go this way a bit more I think. Because it's not, what is going on here? Are these not the same angle or are these the same angle and it's just deciding to glitch out? You know what? Let's get rid of that roof. We don't actually need it because we could just use this one piece. And then we only need two bits of roof. Hooray! Okay. Now, that roof trim is hideous. Uh, the color, because we're going to change that. But I think the actual roof trim itself is fine. So do the same roof trim around everything. I'm going to change it all. Um, I guess it's important to note that I don't want this place to be boring. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think it's just like, it's confused what to do, I think, is what's going on with the game. It's just like, I don't know how to, it's like, I don't know how to do this, is what the game is saying to me right now. I think it's because the angle is so low, it's just like, I don't understand this. There we go. That works. It looks, it might look a little strange, maybe. It does kind of look strange, but it is a porch roof, so I think it's okay. It's probably okay. Might just change it to be a darker color. Although, you know what, maybe we don't want it to be a darker color because we are in a desert. We don't want to go too light, that looks strange. What about... <laughs> go back to the greens. Maybe that. It's a bit blue though, isn't it? It's probably okay though. Because it's still, it is still, it's almost a shotgun style house. That one is more so, but because we've got the side bit again. I mean, I guess it probably still technically is shotgun style, would you say? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, there we go. Uh, so then I'm going to get pillars here. We're probably going to need more of these. Are we... Am I going to be doing these modern pillars? Because the thing is, I don't want the house to look completely out of character. I guess is probably an important point. So maybe we don't do these. And maybe we could even just use the ones that they had in Strangerville. I think I might get rid of the um, uh, spandrels because I don't really like those. Yeah, like this. That's a bit nicer. Yeah, not being that disgusting green color, it looks a lot better. But I think we probably could use a few more columns there. Maybe something like that. So then you have a couple over this way. I don't think we need one against the wall. Then if we put a fence in there, it should look quite good. Around the front, uh, you know what? It's going to be easier if I just delete these and replace them. So we're going to go here. I'm going to get rid of that spandrel because I really don't like that. Now, actually, uh, this is in a different build video recently that I was doing. Oh, I think I... Yeah, there we go. Uh, it was in the modern build that I was doing and someone was asking why I don't do... Because I was, I was saying that there aren't enough archways, like door archways, for larger walls. Like there's not any uh, good looking sort of square ones. And someone said, why don't you just use like spandrels, like use columns and spandrels. I did end up using columns, but I didn't use spandrels because the problem is all the spandrels are so traditional looking. I mean that one's not as much, but it's not a very good interior modern looking arch. I think this actually, this one's quite good for this area maybe. I think that fits quite well because it still looks a little bit more traditional than not having one. But it doesn't look, I don't know, the other one I just was not a fan of. I think we might change this fence as well. Maybe to more, again, I don't want to go super modern. That's not really the prerogative. But something a little bit cleaner might, <laughs> that looks so dumb, might be a little bit nicer. No, that looks dumb. I'm thinking even the one that I just had was good. Like it's not wildly different, but I think it just looks a little bit nicer than what we had. 
So I might put that around over here. I don't, I'm not quite sure why they've made the walls on this house so tall. Because it doesn't really work. Because everything they've done with it has not, I guess the only, oh, you know, this is the reason. It's just so they could use that door, I bet. Is this a medium door? Is it, or is it a small door? Uh, oh, it's definitely, that's, that's definitely, what. that's 100% why they did. That's the only reason they did that. So they could use that, and then none of the windows look right. Because they're all like, they all look, if you look at it, you're like, why are all the windows so low down? In fact, we might even give this some eaves, because it looks kind of strange without it. Okay, I don't know why I keep hitting the door. Um, yeah, I think it looks, I think it always looks nicer when you have eaves coming off of it. It just looks strange without it. I don't know how well it's going to work with our, yeah, so here's the problem um, that I was mentioning before with the, the back bit because it is a because it's a different angle to the rest of the roof it um sticks out weirdly so maybe what if we what if we actually end up doing it the same angle as the roof is that gonna look dumb it's gonna be that size it's still not even right actually you know what is this a different angle is this not a standard angle i don't think it was that's probably what it was how strange why was that an unusual angle and i guess this is too huh Maybe this wasn't actually. Oh no, that's fine. Um, the pattern doesn't line up, which is kind of annoying. Um, I guess in that case, we don't need the roof that's hidden under here. Do I like this though, or is it? The thing is, we're doing a lot of roof work. Hang on, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back. I, I remember that time when I said I don't typically stick with <laughs> the the nature of renovations. That was one of those times I just began changing the entire roof, which is not what I want to do. We're trying to add on to it. All right. Anyway, ignoring that, let's go back here. So these stairs are going to change these railings too to the ones that match, which are not those ones. I think it's these. Yeah. Okay. Now I think we can still have some fun with the windows. I don't know about these particular. Actually, you know what? Even just doing that, I mean, I quite like the uh, little trim. What if we had, is there, what about that? So you get rid of most of it, but you still have some of the original color. That's mostly a white trim now. I think that just, it, that just looks a lot better. But then it kind of looks boring, doesn't it? Like it's just like, the bit, like there's no contrast going on with the build. Which is kind of why I like the idea of doing like the sort of, I guess it's actually a dark blue frame, kind of looks black, but. Cause I don't know if I want to up and out change all the windows. Then maybe. We do this one that has the, no, the black doesn't match anything though. So one that has, oh, actually, hang on, yeah, what if we did, no, 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 that looks terrible. <laughs> I guess because the roof, hang on, because the, the roof is blue and we've got green everywhere, it's not working. We need to change these to blue, but the blue looks horrendous. <laughs> uh, we might need to change the doors and windows just to get it to all work properly. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. So let me grab these. Maybe we can try and keep a sort of semi-traditional looking. Maybe even something like these windows instead. Uh, see, I love that look where you get the white, but you get the black trim. I think that always looks really nice. The black is too much, I think. Like all up. I think that's quite good though. I quite like that. Because it's definitely not a modern window by any means. So I think this could work. Um... And the door's gonna change as well, at least the color of it. All right, so then the side windows are gonna be different because we can't have these giant windows everywhere. Uh, where, where's all the matching set for these? Here we go. So I think if we just use these, also because they're a better size, I'm just putting them next to it so we can just sort of move them in. Also because they're a better size for the wall. I don't know, like the, the other ones just seem too small. Da -da 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 -da. We are doing some, wait, where do those go? There. Yeah. Doing some windows. Do, 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 do. These are different heights. <laughs> it's actually kind of annoying me. Um, is that one that matches that height, or is that just we just got a different height window there? Maybe we do. Do they not have these that have a window that goes with it, or is that just? Am I just? Do I just have wishful thinking now? Why did that? Wait, this. No, that's even small too. Where the hell is that other window from then? What the? <laughs> Why? For, where is it? I can't even find it now. Where, where, where did I get these? Is that not part of this? Is that part of the other set? Is that part of um, Cats and Dogs? Or is that Seasons? I can't even see it now. Where did it go? Actually, no. That, 
What is this window? Where did it go? Yeah, okay, it is seasons, but why is it not? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's like, where is it? Okay, so nothing matches that. Well, I mean they match, but they're different sizes. Um, look, we can probably work with that. I'll just move these up higher, and then I think if we do some plants or something, it'll probably be okay. All right, let's remove these. Uh, around the back, I'm thinking we could probably just do bigger windows. Because it is the back of the house. Uh, I'll just do that. And then this one is our kitchen window. Well, so is the other one, actually. We might need to... We'll have to figure out how that all sort of flows together. All right, let me get this one. I don't know why there was only, like, one window there, because it seems strange. Oh, I guess we do have a stove there, so maybe we don't want it there. Maybe we do this and then this. And then we rip out that, and then we'll put, we can put cabinets around that. Okay. So it's something. Now, we are on the desert, so obviously we can't do too many plants. Uh, but we do have some of these trees around the place. We do have a few little, like, flowers and that. So we might be able to, might be able to work with something here. What tree is that? Is that... No, it can't be that tree. It's got to be, a, like, a base game or base game style tree. Uh, it's probably one that's not in the catalog. I think it's this tree, but it's not. Oh, no, it's not. It's something else. It looks like... Uh, I mean, look, look, as long as they're in the same sort of... Kind of, is it this one? Kind of, I mean, the leaves are different, but whatever. As long as it's kind of in the same vein. I'm just going to put this over here somewhere. Just block the house for the most part. <laughs> let's just let's just cover the house up. There we go. Um, we could probably do some. What other desert plants there? They've got cacti. They got, they do have a lot of flowers. Surprisingly. Uh, see, that's not fair. They get all these lots in the world, and then they're allowed to put their post box post box outside of their lot. How come I'm not allowed to do that? How come mine always has to be on the lot? That's just not fair. Sorry. Got a little worked up over that one. Um, okay, let's get some of these. Some of these classic little desert plants. There we go. Um, I would do more hedges, but again, I guess there's not really much to that. Where's all the flower stuff? In flowers, probably, is a good place to look for that. Because, yeah, like I said, for some reason they have a lot of... Got a lot of flowers around the place, so... We can probably do some of that, too. Um, I wouldn't mind, maybe get a tree over here as well. Something like that. C try and cover up most of the house, you know? <laughs> Alright, this door, we could probably work with it if we just make it white. I think that just already looks a lot better. Why is it not where the stairs are, though? You know what I mean? Like, why is it not there? Or why are the stairs there? Can we move the stairs? We can probably move the stairs. It's going to be easier than moving the internals. So I might do this. Get rid of that one. Um, yeah, because that, I don't understand. Why, why would that not be lined up? I don't know. They've apparently put the bin in the post box there, so I'm just going to keep those in the same sort of place. All right, so I think the outside I'm a little bit happier with now. I think around the back we do need some stairs, though, because that's still important. I think I might do them. Oh, we, you know what? We could still fit them here. I was going to put them over there, but they still fit in that spot, so let's just put them there. And I'll get the same little railings. There you go. And I'll get the same little plants. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's move objects. There we go. Move objects. There you go. Oh, they even have some of these. Okay. You know what? If they're, Look, if they're doing the plants, I'm going to be happy to use them too. I just didn't want to add in any foliage that didn't really make sense in this area because it is so arid. But apparently it can't be that arid. I guess there is a river right there, so it's probably why it's not so bad anyway hey this is looking pretty good uh, i mean it basically still looks like the same house but i think it looks a hell of a lot better than it did at least in my opinion uh, now whoops these i'm gonna get them to run the other way because i'm not quite sure why you would ever lay the wood boards that way on that balcony we'll do the same out there at least they had that right the flooring's quite nice all right the interior this is pretty sad um and the problem I have with it is it's only a one-bedroom house, but it is quite big. But I don't know where you'd do the second bedroom, because if, unless we were to move the bathroom or something like that, I don't know if we can fit another one, because obviously we've got the bedroom there, which is fine. Um, what if we extend... The, mm, doesn't really work. Because I was thinking if you... You move the bathroom. Like I said, I don't really want to, but we could. 
Right, what if we move the bathroom there and then turn that into a bedroom? Like, it's a small bedroom, but I think it's a better use of space, and then you get rid of this weird nook that we had there anyway. And then you sort of have a better open living space. You also, you're also taking up a lot of space with this three wide walkway that we have here, but I guess that's okay. We can put some nice little things along here somewhere, but uh, I think that's going to be a better use of the space. Now, what I'll do to minimize, and to I guess to make it still seem somewhat realistic in terms of a, a, a cost-effective renovation, is I'm going to put the sink here so the pipes would still be in that same wall and put the shower. I guess the shower can't go there because it's of the way it's... Um, Doing that, but if we put it on the other wall here, you could imagine that they, they just use the pipes that are already in that wall. Toilet, though, is just gonna have to move. Although, I guess it'd be right next to the pipes there, too. Hey, we're pretty good. <laughs> I'm probably also gonna change all these fixtures in here, by the way. They probably won't stay these ones, but um, for now, I'm just moving them over and then we'll, uh, then we shall go from there. I can't tell how high up that is, but whatever. Okay, so. Now, they seem to be obsessed with using this door, which is fine because it was a new door here in Strangerville. But it also is not a great door for this build. Because uh, it's, why is it curved? Nothing else is curved, so it doesn't really make any sense. If the windows were curved, if the door was curved, like, I mean, yes, it has that there, but it doesn't really, I don't think it really goes with anything in the house. Um, now, if we had a simple white color swatch that went with this door, I'd be all about it and we'd use that. But we don't. So, we're going to have to go with a door that will work, which I guess is going to have to be... The problem is, I didn't really want to put in these doors because they seem too old for the build. Like, the, the style seems very old, but I guess we're going to have to. Uh, just because that's the door that's going to work. Good lord, the wallpaper in here is disgusting. Let's also... <laughs> let's, let's get some lights in here so we can see what we're doing. Uh, here we go. Alright. Alrighty. Just get some lights. Oh, I guess I didn't... Keep scaling it down. Whoops. I should probably get in the habit of doing that. Anyway, let's just do that. Just so we can see a little bit better. Okay. So it looks disgusting. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, the flooring, I actually don't mind too much. I think we could probably roll with that. Because uh, it can be it can be modernized quite easily. The tiles have got to change. I think something that you could do... No, you can't do it with those tiles. I was going to say just change them to a white variant on them. So it's the same sort of tile, but it's just made white. Um, because that's actually a pretty cost-effective way. You can do that in real life if you just like... I, I think you can... I don't know if you'd do it in the kitchen. Oh, I guess you could, because you can just spray coat the tiles in this weird material that just makes them white. I don't know what the material is, but you can just do that. Now, obviously, you'd rip up these, because they won't be there anymore. And I feel like it probably wouldn't be the same wood floorboard, because you probably wouldn't have had wood under there. So maybe we... Whoops. Didn't mean to press tab. Maybe we actually change this to a carpet. So then they've come in here and they've carpeted this room. And maybe at the same time they decided to carpet that No, they left that room. I don't know who's doing this, but someone's doing it. So there's one- No, I guess we should carpet that. If you're gonna do that one, you might as well do the other one too. So get some nice plush new carpet. I've gone for a darker color just to sort of match the wooden floorboards we already had. Kitchen looks horrendous right now. Uh, let's- I'm thinking we go- Now, again, this is an older house, so I'm thinking if we get this sort of top detail Nice cornice. We could probably go along with that. Uh, I was hoping there'd be lighter colors. They've got a weird yellow sort of thing going on in here, so maybe we could do like a more cream kind of color. So it's not, again, so it's not like super modern, but it's still like cleaned up a lot. And you get the same sort of tone and vibe without the disgusting mess of that other one. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe we just do that for all the rooms for now, and then we can sort of go from there. All right, bathroom. I don't know. It's a pretty small bathroom now, unfortunately, but that's just kind of the way it worked. I think it's better to do that and get two bedrooms than just have the one bathroom over there. Uh, for that, I guess we could go... They did just have tiles in here before, so maybe we could even continue. But only do a half tile, maybe, because they're like, let's forget this, we're not tiling the whole thing. And it's a similar sort of color to what we have out there. Maybe we'll just do that for now. Okay, so, kitchen. We'll keep the stove where it is. Probably not that that stove though. We'll change it. Um, what do we want to do? I do like this. It's a fun sort of themed stove that could be quite. It's a you know it's a little bit of a conversation style. You're like oh that's an interesting stove you've got there, and you'd be like yeah. I don't know why we got it, but we did. Yeah, it's good. It's unusual, and I think this is always good. I think maybe we do this. I think. 
Do I want the flooring to be white? Because I did change it to white, but I'm not sure if I want that anymore. Um, it's <sighs> The thing is, I'm not convinced with this kitchen now, because it's quite a big kitchen for a small house. I, it's almost like the kitchen feels too big, which is a strange thing to say. But like, if you look at the scale of the kitchen to the rest of the build, it's pretty big. So I think we need to maybe work this in a little bit. I think maybe we should actually... But again, the same thing sort of applies here, where it's like you probably wouldn't have the same flooring. Because this is, this is one way to make it look way smaller. Well, not smaller, but it makes that size of kitchen look more like it blends in better. You know, like it looks like one space now rather than two clearly divided rooms. <sighs> maybe we just do it. It, I think it's just better overall. It also looks less, way less white now, which is good too. All right, let's get a fridge. So we're going to go for probably... I don't like the... I hate how this fridge has a stupid casing around it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes I love it. But a lot of the time I don't, because it's got the wrong color on it. Because we'd probably have to use this one. And where would I put it? I think they, they originally had the fridge over there, which is fine. And I think it would have a door to the outside there somewhere. So it kind of either has to go along this wall or like on this one here. But if it's there, then it's like miles away. So I think we're going to have to go here. Which I guess is fine. Where do I want to put the sink though? I'm kind of having the kitchen on this weird one wall now. They did have the sink right next to the stove, so I might just follow along with that and then maybe they just sort of fitted it in there and then just rolled with it. They're like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Um, and then we might get a dishwasher. I wish it would fit under the sink, but obviously that makes sense that it wouldn't. So <laughs> might put it over here. White? Because that's white as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's not quite the same color. All these appliances are completely different colors. Um, the gray definitely... Oh, you know what? That's not white. That's definitely that gray swatch, isn't it? Oh, wait. No, it's not. These are... The same colors, but they're in different orders. So, I don't know. That looks closer to me, though. So, we'll just roll with that. All right. So, that's going to go there. What about the matching counters? Do those work with these? Or are they not something I want to use? Because mm, I don't know about the colors on them, though. It's a thing. Blue. We definitely want to use... It'd either be this one or the one with the black on top, I think. What do you reckon? Maybe. Because then I guess the colors and toning sort of suit better than the other ones. All right. So maybe like that. I don't know. Apparently that's what I'm going with, so let's do it. Uh, okay, dining table. Uh, I really wish we had more small dining tables that fit in. Uh, I can't, we need a, you know what? We need a circular dining table between this size, because this is massive. Uh, because that seats a few too many people. That seats six people. And then one. we need one between these two, you see? It needs to be... I was having a good scale it. It needs to be like this size. Because this feels way too small for like an area like this, doesn't it? I mean, maybe it doesn't. So yeah, I would put the table there probably. And then we'd have the door. We should probably get a door to the outside. Uh, maybe like this could even do that. Or maybe... Let's go to medium doors. Could even do like that. No, that's very curvy. That doesn't make sense. We could do this one. Oh, there's a weird lamp there. I can keep that there, but I'm going to move it there. Make it more white, though. Uh, so we could do that because it's a, it's a nice door. It's, it's still got the curve to it, uh, which I don't know if I want. Or we could even do the same door as the front door, but I feel like that if that's our front door, we probably shouldn't use that around the back as well. Uh, that's probably okay. It's not... I don't think it's quite right, though. Seems like maybe we should do like this one or maybe this. No, they still because I'm not sure I'm a, I'm a fan of the um, the curves in the doors because that sort of doesn't match in. So maybe this one is a bit smaller, but it does have the right sort of aesthetic. But then it's not in the center, and that does annoy me too. Maybe we'll just roll with that for now and see how we go. All right, so what colors does this, this little thing have? Uh, I do I do like the, the wooden top. And you know what? That, that color is actually probably fine. Because if we put some chairs around that and then maybe like a rug under it or something, it'll probably work quite well. So let's have a look at that. Mm, not those. 
again, we want to sort of fit in with the theme, but not be too traditional. You want a sort of modern, traditional take on everything, which is kind of hard to achieve in this game, I'll be honest. You can't have a blocky chair with that table. It's got to be, it's got to be quite a, a sleek, svelte chair, you know? It's got to be almost like a hydrodynamic chair, because it's going to go through the water really, really fast. Yeah, none of these work particularly well, do they? I guess the only one that does is this, which is not good. So, let's not use that one. Uh, um, we are going to go with a chair that looks like the... No. Uh, see, again, that's the problem with these. These little tables have so little space that... Like, what chairs do you even put around this thing? Like, even if I were to use the... Uh, what, what are the chairs that go with this table? I'm trying to find them. Like, even if I were to use something like this, they still look so big. Um, I think that maybe a chair that... What is... Oh, I guess this is one of the new chairs that came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not really built since that was added to the game. I guess I have, but I haven't furnished is probably what I haven't done. Um, okay, well, I think that... I do like those chairs, but they seem a little too old. So I think something that would be more appropriate... Dude, none of these chairs are working for me at all with this table. They just they just don't. I think the the only thing I was wanting to do was this chair, so maybe we do actually just roll with this one. Uh cuz it might. I mean, I'm, I guess we maybe not everything's brand new. <laughs> I do like the white one, but then the I don't know if the chair goes with the actual table. I think maybe you know what? Maybe it's too white. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe this is better. And then if we do a rug, then we'll be in business. Now, I don't know if we also need four chairs, but that's kind of what we've ended up with. But I think it'll be okay, because if you have a double bed there, one bed there, that means there's going to be potentially like three sims here anyway. And then if you had a guest over, then the table would be the right size. So if I put that sort of there, because I want to allow like a walkway there to the fridge and then a walkway around the other side. So it's not, because if it's like here, it's completely blocking it. But if you put it here, then you still get a bit of space, you know? So that's what I'm talking about. And then if we go into here and get a rug, and that rug is not that... I don't know, the, like, the thing is, the style of this place is all over the place, but I don't know, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it in check. <laughs> Wait, where did, where did the, um, standard, like, dot go? Is it, oh, it is this one. I don't know why I didn't think it was this one. It's a little small, but, oops, that's the chair. That'll probably be okay. Is that, is that okay? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess we'll roll with it. And then the, we need some cabinets in here because it looks a bit like there's nothing going on here. Like, where, where are you going to store all your stuff? I think, so I think these might be better. But not in a, like a white. But they don't really come in anything else. So maybe these, no, these might be good. Because I kind of want like... What about this? What if I did this? It looks very busy, though, I think is the issue. <laughs> it looks very busy. You know what? Hang on. Go go back. What about these guys? In a... Not white. Maybe the darker color? I don't know. I'm trying to create a bit of contrast, but I think it's just... I think it's not really working because it does just make everything a lot more busy. I guess it's going to have to be that height. So I can go above the fridge. Maybe we just do the white. And then, I don't know about this table. I, I, like, I just don't know if that's working for me. But maybe it is. But I'm not sure that it is. All right, I'm going to move these lights anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to put these lights in. These are still going to be here. They're going to go there. They're going to go there. So that, I think, is that the same spot that I put them? Yeah, so they're even, oh, that's too big. So they're evenly spaced along that wall. Then we probably want to do something above that light there. I think right here could use... Either like a bookcase or like a table or something. Oh, this is a cool bookcase. A little too big though. Uh, I'm thinking something like... Where's this like a standard bookcase? Like this? No, that's too big. Like this, I guess? Or I was thinking maybe like a little table and a picture could work quite well. So if we do... Uh, we need to get out a good picture. Maybe something like... I do like this. This is always fun. Bit colorful, like that. So you get a little bit of color, and then I think what we need to do as well. Well, first of all, we need to get a little table under that because it needs something there, you know. 
Maybe like... No, not that. Is there something taller than this? Because these are quite... I don't know. They don't seem tall enough. But I guess they are. Just, I think it's because of wall... See, I would not have made the walls this tall. That's the issue I have with this place. The walls are just massive. I need like a table that goes along the wall. Like I need one of these tables because they're quite thin, but not only like one tile. I guess this, but it doesn't suit anything. Is there... There's miscellaneous tables, right? So if we go in here, maybe. I don't like... I do quite like using this a lot. I just wish it didn't have wheels on it. <laughs> it's like the right size, but it's like... Why does it have wheels? The wheels kind of make it a little bit more difficult to sell. There's a little piece to have in here. <laughs> like, I don't know, it looks kind of dumb. Maybe this could work, just like a counter. You know what, actually we could do a counter here. We do also need a bin, I'm aware. Someone's probably yelling it at me somewhere. Um, I don't mind a counter. And then maybe on this we do like... The fruit bowl? Over here or something? I don't know. Is it weird to have a counter over here? It's kind of weird, but maybe it looks good. Are we, I don't understand why these don't place on counters. Where are the fruit bowls? Are they not in here? They need to like, they need to fix some of these menus because they are, there's one. I don't want that one though. This one, really good. Because some of them are just confusing as anything. Maybe we could get like a nice plant over this side. Something that looks like this. Because I think here, because the thing is, it looks weird at the moment because it's sort of just in the middle, but this whole wall is not really going to be used for anything anyway. And I think if we get some tables along it, put the walls down so I can see what I'm doing. This one, I mean, that's quite good. Or maybe even just this one here. I think this suits this style of house quite well as well. Maybe the darker wood, kind of what we got going on. A little bit of that. Then underneath this, if I can get like a rug or something. I don't know, just like a size down one. Maybe like a, I mean, probably the same color is fine. Because uh, the color is coming out of the plant, not so much the rug. So it doesn't need to be like showy and in your face. And then maybe on here, maybe this is where we get some clutter. Does, what fits on here? You get a dog statue or a cat statue. <laughs> no, I don't like, I don't like, that doesn't make any sense. What about, um, we could do shoes and stuff by the door or we could get like, you know, let's get some knives for the kitchen. It's always handy. There we go. Uh, can this fit on there? No. I love I love this this piece, but it doesn't. You can't really use it a lot of places. Let's do that, and then I think maybe like a light or something by the door, or maybe a mirror actually could be quite good. Like a big mirror. I said a big mirror, not a weird show mirror. Like this guy. It's pretty good. Want to go wood, or do we want to go? I guess we're doing a lot of wood in this area, so maybe that would work. That's all right. I think it looks, uh, look, look, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now. <laughs> like, it looks a lot better than it did before. So I'm okay with that. All right, kitchen, let's get a bin before I completely forget and just sail off into the to the far off distance with nothing else and no care in the world. Let's get a small one. It doesn't need to be anything special. I'm going to put it here. I think they can use that. If they can't, we'll move it later. I just wanted to put it there because then at least from this angle, it sort of hides it a little bit so you don't see it right in your face. Other than that, I think that's pretty good. Maybe we, we could do... Where is that bathroom wallpaper? We could do maybe some tiles just behind this section on this wall. Um, I don't know if I like it though. Because I, I wouldn't want to go over the top because I think it doesn't really go with the rest of the build. You know, I don't think we need it. I think it'll be okay. I think it look, kind of looks okay without it. Uh, all right, so then the living space, which is obviously over here, I think we can get a nice setup of couches. I think if we go for a nice couch like this, uh, where's, so the bedroom door is there. So I think we want to have it facing this way. So then that leaves this space behind as a walkway. Just kind of what you want. Now, what I'm thinking, not necessarily that color, but if you use, which one is it? Which is the one that doesn't Deli always do? I'm trying to steal an idea from Deli here. I think she uses like, is it miscellaneous seating or is it, it's like that, um, like the little, what do you call them? These things. What are these actually called? Is it just called an ottoman? I guess it's just a big ottoman. I mean, I've seen a few people do this, where you sort of just turn it into like an L-shaped couch kind of thing. I thought this one kind of works well as a simple couch design. I don't know if that particular one's the one to go with. Probably, how about the one that matches it? <laughs> how about the one that actually goes with this thing might work? Uh, but it looks very thin though, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this one? Could work quite well. 
Does it have a matching? Ooh. Oh yeah. We do that. I don't know. I don't know about this though. Can we? Is it like a nicer color? Because the white. I'm not really feeling white. Maybe this is not the couch to do it with. Maybe there is a better one. Maybe this. No, that's very. Again, need to do the whole sort of keeping with the vibe and keeping with the feel of the place. Uh, one that sort of goes with everything. I like that, but I don't know. I don't know. Couches in this game are a weird thing too, aren't they? I don't know. None of them... I still am not sold on any of the couches in this game actually being good. Like, I just don't like any of them. <laughs> At all. Like, they're just not... They're not good. I think maybe this. But the, th the thing is, how come all the good stuff is, like, cheap and then it makes your sims uncomfortable because it's so cheap? Now, does this have a matching... Whoops, sorry. Yeah, it's sort of grey kind of colour, because that's kind of what we're afterwards. Afterwards? We're after now. Not this. Nope. What about this one? This one's quite good. Don't think it's going to have a grey, though, is the issue. Hmm. Now we've run into a little bit of an issue. That's cool. Why have I never seen this before? From City Living? This is awesome. Oh, man, i got to use this more. Can we just use this thing? Oh, that's awesome. I'm sure the book's face there. Maybe it should be this way. I guess I should probably... Should they? Yeah, they should face the ones. Because otherwise it'd be annoying. If you wanted a book, you'd have to get up and walk all the way around. Okay, well, I want that. But I also want a thing that comes out... I want like a return that comes out this way. Maybe this will work. It's a bit small, but... It doesn't have a... Now they have a grey. I guess we can't really do a grey then, can we? What about that one? No. Do we have to do white? It's like the one time I don't, I actually don't want to use white. It's also a different white. <laughs> oh no, how did I end up over here? It's also a completely different tone of white, so it doesn't really work. What about cream? Could do a cream. No, but then the walls are that color. Not blue. Because what other colors do we have in here? Uh, I mean, blue could work. This sort of bluey. It, it, I say it could work, as long as we have something that matches with it. How do people do this? Like, how do people... Get this to work, because none of these are the right color. I'm probably using the wrong combination of stuff is probably the issue. You know what? Maybe we should forget it. It's just not gonna it's not gonna work the way I want it to, and then it's gonna look dumb. But I do like this. Is there a fun one that we could use that would actually look good? I mean probably the one we were using was fine, like that. And then maybe go back to the like this, I guess that color. I think the grey couch is always nice. And then maybe on the side we do... Let's do like an armchair or something then, I guess. Which would be... The actual matching one is... Uh, why, can't I, why can't I see it? Did I get past it? Really obvious, too. Isn't it just a big block? Not that one, obviously. I appear to be blind. Maybe there... No, there is one. Maybe there isn't one. I guess maybe there isn't. Anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter because what I was going to say is I don't want to use that one and I want to use a different one anyway, so who cares? All right, so in that case, I think maybe... Oh, maybe I don't want to use an armchair. Maybe I do just want to use... No, because there'd be too many seats otherwise if I don't use an armchair. All right, let's use an armchair. Let's use something like that. No, because it, it seems too modern. Again, I want to sort of avoid... Going too off book with the character of the place. Maybe this is a good one to use. Because we can get a bit of color into it. We could get the. I was trying to do that one. Get the blue and the sort of green. Maybe we can get the. We can even get like a. Because it's kind of that color there, isn't it? Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, when did they add these? Oh my god, these are so much better. Oh. <gasps> Dude, when do they add those? those okay, th these two colors make the rest of this couch garbage. 100%. These are so much... Look at those texture. That's so much better. Okay, can they go back and change all of these to have that texture? Because then I would love this couch so much more. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, my God. That's like... Oh, my God. That looks amazing. <laughs> Wait, do they have... A oh, my God. Do they, they must have the matching version of it then, too. Right on this. Oh, my God. This is, like, a million times better. I mean, I can't use them together, but anyway. <laughs> Whoa, that's so much better. 
Okay, well, we can't use this then, because that looks dumb. Do I want to go Peach? I, I just want to use this couch now. Yeah, we're going to use that. That doesn't work anymore. <laughs> that looks so much better. Oh, my God. When That must have been, I guess, in a recent update, or I guess I just never checked the couch, because I don't use it that much. Um, all right, so we need a rug. What colors does this have? We could just use... It doesn't need to be anything too crazy. It just needs to be something fun, something nice, something to go on the floor. No, maybe something more like... Are these all too busy? They're, they're, too, they're too, like... They dominate the room too much. They, get, they take over. Like, when you go into a room, it's like, oh, I'm looking at the rug and not, you know, everything else that isn't that. Maybe we just do that, because then it's sort of like the same color as the walls. So you're not directly looking at it, but it also gives you a nice, like, space, you know, on the floor. Might move this all over, actually. We should probably, if we line it up with this wall, it might actually be quite good, because then that's where we can put the TV and all that. And then it means we also, you know, it uses the space a bit more. It actually feels a bit more cozy being a little bit closer to that than shoved in the corner. So that's quite good. Uh, in that case, then we want to go something probably... No, that looks disgusting and old. Like, we want it to, like, look traditional, but not old. <laughs> We're not trying to make it look gross. Then no, it's like, um... They need some better, they need some better, like, TV stands. Because, like, you can... Sure, you can make them out of counters and all that. But they don't look very good. And, well, they look like... Actually, no, they do look good. But then when you put the walls down, you don't see it. So then in the gameplay, you never really see it anyway. But I guess I'll use one of these. That's got a marble top, which I don't really want. I guess we're probably going to use either... Nah, these are all bad. <laughs> all bad. Maybe this Captain Dog's one. I love that wood. That's still one of my favorite wood textures, but it doesn't go with anything, so I don't think we can use that. I might also move this forward a bit because it's a little shoved under. I do like that, but I guess it doesn't make sense. Maybe this one, maybe... Uh, I do like that, but it's got the marble on top again is the issue. I think we might just be going, ending up going back to one of these, one of these classics. Maybe this guy here. It doesn't have any dark colors. Never mind. Um, okay, maybe we'll just do something completely different. The thing is, this is supposed to be a... No, I can't use a big flat screen on the wall because this is supposed to be like a cheaper looking house. I mean, it does look like a cheaper house, but I mean, it's supposed to be cheap. So it wouldn't have like some huge TV mounted on the wall. What about this? But like, I'm hoping there's a more subtle version of that. There wasn't. What about this, but facing the wall? No, because it looks like a chest. <laughs> um, I didn't, th I'm going to be honest, didn't think that the TV stand would be the thing that I have an issue on. It turns out I am. Maybe one of these would be good. It's too tall. Or it's too big. I guess maybe this could work actually. Maybe that. And then I don't think you can actually put a TV on this though, can you? No. Which is fine. Because what I'll do is we'll just like, the, yeah, sure. The, okay. At the end of the day, the TV is still actually mounted on the wall, but it kind of looks like it's on the stand. So like I could actually use this one and then like move it up. But like, I mean, you might as well just mount it on the wall because it's just easier. Maybe we just do that. That's probably fine. And then we do need something over here though. So I think maybe we can't use the same couch even as much as I want to with that, that texture. It looks amazing. Oh my God. It's just, it's worlds better. It's so much better than anything else. Maybe the green, the not the green, the sort of, Teal is... No, because it doesn't look good with that plant. I think that works quite well. So I think what we need to do is find a nice armchair that goes well. Do we want to do like a... It's got to be like a greenish kind of color because that would go... Or, or should we... No, maybe we should just keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Always remember to kiss. Um... <laughs> but now I'm back to the same problem I had before. I don't know which chair to use. Maybe maybe go back to this one. No, I don't know how much wood that has. This one is a simple chair. Simple chair for a simpleton. No, that's too much. That's too blocky. These look too... Blech. Uh, A chair, an armchair that looks good is difficult to find. Maybe the... No, it's got concrete all around. It looks... doesn't fit the house. Why is this? I guess it might just have to be this chair. Ew. No, it's not going to be that chair. Maybe this one again. All right, what do we got in this one? Let's have a look. So it's in the context of the, that. Actually, that color actually looks quite nice. I'm going to be honest with that. 
but then I don't know. Does it? Am I just thinking it looks nice, but it doesn't actually look nice? I don't know. You guys can yell at me later. Maybe we'll have a look. We'll have a look at it in the whole context in a bit. <laughs> Let me get a coffee table because I think we do still need one. Maybe this. Is that the same sort of color as that guy? Is there too much wood going on in here now, though? Maybe this shouldn't be that. Maybe we should do glass. And it looks dumb. Maybe this. That's too big. It's too big. Maybe. Uh, now we're stuck with coffee tables. <laughs> I do like all these, but they're all way too big, especially for this like little house. No, maybe we should just do end tables. Like beside the sofas. Might be better. Um maybe. These are also all too big. The best ones are these, but they're like even this is too big. Like I, I feel like the end tables like should always be this like one size small. If every single end table was one size smaller, they all look so much better. They all look like they fit. So there's like this. Oh, there's this. Like, oh, that's way better. The only problem I have with doing that is that it means anything your sim places on it is floating in the air and it always looks really, really dumb and I don't like it. So I don't want to do it. Damn it. The only other things we can use are like these because these are quite small, but then these are very stylized. Maybe we just do it over this side. So maybe on this side we go for simple, like something like this. I want to make it like... I don't know, it's kind of boring in color, but I think it might be okay. And then on this wall, okay, you know what, let's let's roll with that. And then on this wall, we can get out the bookcase. That's a little, <laughs> it's a little much for this house, I think. Maybe this? No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's too much for this house. It's not that big. Uh, something like that's okay. Maybe, do we want to go boring and blend it into the wall? Or do we want to even go like a white one? I think that, I, I'm going to be honest, I think it's almost too busy inside that bookcase. Which is odd, because normally I do like that one, but I think it was a little too much. And I think this, yeah, that's way too big. Uh, that's too modern. That was too much as well. Maybe this. And then like that. Um, This chair is odd. I like the color, but I think it's almost standing out too much. Like, it, it was sort of domineering. Like, it was like, when you look over that way, it was just, like, in your face constantly. Uh, okay, maybe we do that. So you have a walk over behind. You got that there, the TV area. I think maybe this should just be in the center of that then. Do we move this? Does this go here or something? Or does that look stupid? Maybe it should just be back over here. Maybe that can go there. What if we get another chair that's, like, over this side? It almost looks too far away, though, doesn't it? I'll move these in a little bit. Sort of more on the rug. I don't know, because it's just a little chair that sort of faces in and then you can like have a chat or whatever, a little bit of a chin wag. Maybe it should be a different color as well. Maybe this one could be that color. What if we did that? No, I think there's too much color with that. But then that looks... Because I, I almost want another chair here. Because I kind of like the idea of it. I kind of like that color, but then it's like... It doesn't really go with the space. But then should we have the same chair like that? I don't know. I don't know, it's okay, you guys can download this and fix it. Um, and then over here, this should be a lamp. Alright, let me go to nighttime actually, because let's get rid of all these. So we wanted two kitchen spotlights, I'm fine with that. And then let's do some nicer, sort of like softer lighting in the living space. So we're going to go into lighting and lamps. And then we're going to go, maybe this guy is always good. Any candles? No, candles are kind of dumb. I don't think that's going to work well. Now, any of these we can size down, which is good, because all the lamps in the game are too big as well. This could be quite good. Do that there, and then in the corner, maybe get a taller one. Something that looks like a good lamp that would go in the corner it would be something like this, but not in that color. It looks... <sighs> lamps look so dumb, don't they? They, they look really bad. I don't know what it is about the, the lamps in this game, but I'm just, I don't feel any of them. Except for the one that I always use, which is this one. I do like that. <laughs> and I do actually like this now, which is good for industrial builds, but it doesn't work in a living room. Um, I don't know why they don't just have, like, sort of modern looking lamps. Like, why is that so difficult? I think we might just have to do, maybe, like, wall lights would be quite good, actually. Something like... 
These can sometimes be good. I don't know if I even need one in the middle. Might not do that. Whoops, sorry. Because that feels quite warm in there now. It sounds like super bright, but you get the light going on there. Uh, behind the TV, does that does that need something up there? Or is, and I think that might be too busy if we do that. I think if we get some curtains, maybe. It might feel a little bit more like home and less like a showroom. Those are too big. Uh, I think that's too, again, too domineering. Like, we don't need... We don't need dominatrixes in the living room. These could be good, but I mean, the problem is that they sort of block the entire window. Let me do these, because then they're open. You see, the bar goes in the wrong spot, though. Like, go up higher. <laughs> Stop snapping onto it. <laughs> Damn it. If it, went, if it snapped up higher, what if I place that first and then place the next? No, it's not going to do it, is it? Might need to remove the window and place these first. Right, which, which curtains do I want? What colors do these have? Because let's check that first, because they might be like, hmm, kind of cool. So we want ones that are nice. That's probably too bland to just do the plain white, I think. Uh, gray? We could do those. Those aren't too bad, actually. Like, they're a bit yellow, but I think they might be nice. I don't know. So, whoops. I was going to say, let's move those down. Then we can base the height on these ones here, on the one next to it. So they really need to be about there, I think. Oh, that's actually a little too high, because the curtains don't hit the bottom. Maybe... how's that? I think that's better. Should the bar be along the top, though, maybe? Because I maybe we want to line the bottom of it up. That's too high, so really it needs to be, like, slid just between those two heights. Maybe a little bit more. About there. Like, that's better. Like, that's a much better fit than this. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what's, why they're in a, like a... These are positioned weirdly on those windows, but they are. So if we get a similar sort of height... I don't know about the color of the bar, though. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, then this probably should come forward a little bit, because that looks like it's sort of cutting into the curtains. TV's a little strange there, but... Whatever. Um, okay, that's not too bad. I don't mind that. Oh, we're going to do the same over here. Damn it. Oh, these are a completely different color. What color are these? <laughs> Hang on. What is this? Oh, no, it, it is that sort of yellowy color. It's just the lighting from the... What did I just do? I think I took a screenshot. Um, the Yeah, it's the lighting from those, those indoor lamps on the wall there. Hang on, where's night time? All right, so that's going to go down. It's going to go up, so it comes down a bit to about there-ish. There you go. I don't mind that. That's kind of nice, isn't it? It's... Mm, it looks a bit bland in here, doesn't it? You know what we need? We need plants. Not too much of the same one, though. But there's got to be something in here, because it's like a little... It's getting there. Maybe this one? No, that doesn't... It's very... That's very stylized. Just like a normal... Like a normal person plant. Like, plants that a normal person would have in their house. You know? And maybe they're like, we're in a desert, so I feel like we should have some plants. This seems like it needs to be on something, you know? Like, it needs to be raised up, there needs to be like a little stand there. That's too big. What if we made this smaller? Oh, the mirror doesn't scale. Damn. Like, that would be a nice, like, little circular table. What if we made... No. What if we made... Oh, well, you know, what about one of these? Like, I think it looks weird now, granted, but what if we did this? Now, I'm hoping that no sim will ever place anything on this table, because if they do, it might look strange, but I don't know. It could be, it could be like a little plant table, maybe. Does it look weird? kind of looks weird, but I think it's better than not having a stand for it, because I think on the ground it looks too small. More like that. I don't know. Should it be in front of the window, though? Maybe it should be over here. Something else can go there. Oops. Like that. We got that plant there, so that one's there. It's quite nice. You got a little kitchen area, got a little entrance, which I think needs some light or decoration or something in there. Uh, and then the problem is, looking this way right now is kind of sad. <laughs> you know, like it's kind of like there's not a lot going on there. Maybe, maybe doing this color would be better. But then is it like they're trying too hard in this house? They're like, oh, we just really, we really wanted to go for color in your face. Should we match the, the couch too? I love these textures, amazing. I mean, I kind of like that, but maybe it's, 
a bit strange. I do like it though. Um, okay, so back down this way, we need some lights. I think we'll probably just go for the little down lights again. So we'll go like this, one there, one here. So that means hopefully at night time, whoops, went past it. You still get nice bright there, and then this is still a little bit warmer in that area there, not as bright. Uh, and then I think on this wall behind, we should get a nice piece of art, maybe like one of those cats and dogs sort of... Maybe not that one, it's a little fancy, a little less fancy. Where's the other one? Oh, this one. Oh, but they have all that gold in the frame. They have some really good pictures, but I don't think that's the right one that we should use. Didn't Get Famous have some good ones too? They've been doing a lot of them lately and it's really good. Oh, actually, no, I think, um... Some of these are good, actually. Oh, actually, some of these are really good. The colors. The colors almost match too well in that one. <laughs> like in, um, which one was it? That, that's really matchy. <laughs> That's like too, that's too much. Uh, like some of these just like, I don't like the black frame actually. I think that's also a bit, a bit much. Um, Strangerville had some stuff too, didn't it? I mean, these would be good. Oh yeah, this. Oh, these are cool. I like these. Let's do that one. Beautiful. Okay. So that's good. We got the bathroom. A much better living room. Uh, bedrooms, I think we might just keep these easy because this video has been going on a lot longer than I planned it to. So <laughs> I think we might keep this pretty simple. Just like a nice bed. Well, nice is a relative term as it turns out because that wasn't very nice. Just a nice bed, which maybe I was thinking this one. I don't like the sheets on that bed though. Man, all the beds in this game suck, don't they? <laughs> oh dear. Maybe it should go this way. I feel like the bed going this way is more room. Because then you can put stuff there. Alright, let's do that. So I'm gonna go for that, and then maybe a nice, beautiful... God, these are all awful, aren't they? Good lord. Oh my god. The only good one is the white, but it's so boring. <laughs> Damn it. What about that? There you go. You're gonna have pink sheets. Enjoy. And then you're gonna have very simple... And tables that look a little something like these, but in a different color. Oh, they don't have white. They do have white, but then you get blue. Eh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Why do you do this to me, game? All right, what about this? It's open. It's simple. There you go. I might actually get rid of that one because I think we're going to need to put a uh, wardrobe here or something. What do I want? Storage, dresses. Do we want to do... I do like these sets of drawers. Actually, we can put it here, maybe. It'd be better. I do like those drawers. They're actually quite good. And then I was thinking if we do a mirror over this side, that'll work quite well. We can do this, but with, like, out all that on it. No, I think maybe one of the walls probably better. Just, like, a simple wall mirror. Very white in this room, though, isn't it? But I guess what else are you going to do in here? You know what? You, I'll leave this for you guys to personalize. <laughs> That's the room you get, all right? <laughs> there you go. I don't know what else to do in it. I feel like I spent enough time on the, the living space that maybe that can uh, take a little bit of a back seat. So this bedroom is also going to be, I guess, a little bit sad. There you go. We'll match that bedroom a little bit. You know, we got they, they like a bit of peach, apparently. Uh, and then I'll put this in here. Oh, that is the way it goes. Uh, there's not much you can do with this room, I'll be honest, because it's quite small. We'll do a different dresser, though. Maybe they'll have a bigger one for some reason. No, that doesn't make sense. Why would you do that? Why would you get <laughs> give the smaller room the bigger dresser? Uh, these are all massive. Uh, yeah, this is no good. But, no, that's a little too modern, though. <laughs> this room, man. Um, it's good though because I mean, like I mean, like I said earlier, it's good. To, I think it's good to have that sort of second bedroom rather than a weird nook that we probably wouldn't have done anything with anyway. Maybe this. I don't like that there's glass on it though. Also, it's towels. You can clearly see in it, it's towels. Maybe this. It's so ugly though. They need more like small dresses. Because I got these, but they're all two tiles and it takes up the entire room. You know what? I guess we don't need a bedside table. Let's get rid of that. Because then instead of having a bedside table, you just have a set of drawers because you could just use that as the bedside table. Uh, which is fine. Maybe this one. No, it's so old. Where's like a like a good one that doesn't look dumb, that isn't really big, that isn't modern, uh, that isn't 
bad. I don't think that exists <laughs> in the game. It turns out, actually. Set of drawers that is normal. Maybe these, but in a different color. Nope. I think this is our best bet. Uh, I just didn't like the top bit of it, but I guess that'll have to do. Wow. What a good bedroom. Now, you'll note that I didn't put any curtains over here. I don't think it really needs it in the kitchen area. Or over there. I mean, the bedrooms do, but like I said, I'm, I think I'm just leaving that for you guys to do. You know, actually, I'll take these lights out. These are too much. Did I put the... Let me center this bathroom light. I did say I was going to do the bathroom as well. But I feel like because I spent so much time everywhere else, <laughs> I think we'll leave that. Uh, so I'm going to put a little light maybe over here on this wall just so it's not right over the bed. Um, and then maybe this one over here by the doorway area. And then maybe like a little lamp in here. Where's that? I like that lamp out here. This is good. Put that there. And scale it down. Okay. I mean, look, it's it's nice. It's warm. Okay, look, here's the thing. It's better than what we started with, I think. I think with that, I'll leave this here. This is the renovation of Carpophagus Corner. Um, I think it looks a lot better. I mean, outside still looks like it, it looks like it could be like a base game house kind of thing or just like a, a pre-made house, which is kind of the idea, like I said, with the renovation, we're trying to keep it sort of in tune with what it was supposed to be. So it's almost just like a little bit of a facelift outside. We did do a little bit of an extension out the back. We gave it more of a porch around the back as well. We recolored everything inside pretty similar we did move the bathroom over but we sort of re repurposed that into a bedroom and then the whole living space is just completely redone and i think it looks a million times better than what it did before and oh my god this couch texture is amazing i love it how long has that been in the game you got to tell me in the comments down below because apparently i didn't know about it um i think mean, that's pretty good though it's pretty good for a little live build uh yeah anyway i hope you liked it uh if you want to download this it'll be up on my gallery you know what i'll share it now carpophagus corner uh Reno oh, I can't okay, it's gonna be Carpophagus Corner Reno. It's gonna be two bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh it's gonna be this house oh that's all capitals. <laughs> this house was pretty sad. Now it's happy. Feel free to fix it up even more. And it's gonna be hashtag the sim supply. Hashtag uh what's a unique hashtag we could do? Five 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 Call me now. I don't know why I did that. You know, like every TV show or movie, they always have 555 and then like whatever number it is. Um, <laughs> don't, please don't call me now. Anyway, there you go. So it's up in the gallery, so you can check that out uh, if you want to download that. And if you want to continue on with it, uh, by all means, feel free to do so. Feel free to upload the, your renovations as well. Um, and that's cool. I just think this is a million times better than what they had before. <laughs> like, so much better. Anyway, it's a little bit nicer. It's still in the same vein. Still, I, I think, like, suits this world quite well. So if you want to replace it, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.